clumsiness in biblical narrative. Jonah chapter 1 verse 10 Be afraid, be very afraid. Verse 10 reads, Then the men were afraid, and said to him, What is this that you have done? For the men knew that he was fleeing from the presence of the Lord, because he had told them so. The men were afraid, very afraid. Back in verse 5, they'd been just normally afraid, chucking the cargo overboard and praying to their gods in the face of the big storm. Now, on Jonah's witnessing to them, I am a Hebrew. I worship the God of heaven who made the sea and the dry land. They were afraid, very afraid, or literally, the men were afraid, a big fear. This is quite normal in scripture. Pagans who hear about God are usually afraid. Unless, of course, they are military men serving a powerful king, in which case all bets are off. But then comes the strange bit. For the men knew that he was fleeing from the presence of the Lord, because he had told them so. When? When did he tell them? And why weren't we told? Well, he didn't tell them before verse 5, when they first got afraid, because if he had, they wouldn't have needed to pray to their gods. They could have prayed to his already there. And then, if we look a bit further on from verse 5, but back from where we are, we notice that some funny things are going on too in verses 6 and 7. In verse 6, the captain asked Jonah to join the praying. In verse 7, they, their identity is unspecified, but presumably it's the sailors, as the English translations assume, say to each other, let's cast lots and find out who's to blame. The lot falls on Jonah. He's found out. And in verse 8, they ask him to confess and tell them who he is. Is this when he told them he was running from God? We aren't told. What we are told is that he offers a magnificent profession of biblical faith. I am a Hebrew, he replied, and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. The key information, and I'm running away from the face of this creator God, was given to the sailors by Jonah, but withheld from us by the narrator. Why? If you think about it, the version that we have is so much more complicated than this one I've given you here. He said to them, I'm a Hebrew, and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land, but I'm trying to escape from him. Hearing this, the men were afraid, very afraid, and said to him, What have you done? So much simpler, neater, and less complicated than the version that's actually in the Bible, which does that jumping around and ending with, They said this because he had earlier told them that he was trying to escape from the Lord. That is clumsy and complicated. Now, biblical narrative is seldom clumsy and not very often complicated. There are unusual features in biblical narrative, so when they occur, there's a reason. First of all, this odd wording troubles the telling to suggest that their fear is the usual be afraid, be very afraid, that happens to pagans hearing about the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. But then it's able to point out that something worse is happening by adding that they said this because he had earlier told them that he was trying to escape from the Lord. You see, Jonah, the prophet of the Lord, is running away from the presence of the God of heaven who made sea and land. Duh, what a serious mistake! and the pagan sailors can see it's a mistake. How come this smart, well-credentialed prophet, and remember, Jonah son of Amittai, from verse 1, is known to us from kings as a well-credentialed prophet, how come he can't spot that it's a serious and bad mistake? Well, that is what this book is all about. So wait for more instalments. Bye for now. <laughs>